Hello everyone, welcome to another video. This video has been released uh, probably bang smacking middle between Christmas and New Year. So I hope you've all had a lovely time with your families and he's looking forward to a, a lot better 2022 at UK and hopefully get some normality back. In this video, I'm targeting grey squirrels. Prime time at UK. Little tip for you, look out for the drays in area. As you can see from this footage, there's three or four greys all in the same dray. They will get together at this time of year. It helps to create warmth inside dray and survive through harsh winter. I'm targeting a feeder that you're all familiar with. This feed in the feed of the wheat or the mixed corn that I used haven't been going down particularly that well. But I've took a few squirrels off this feeder. So I think I'm slowly thinning population out in this woodland. It's first thing in the morning. It's still quite gloomy in woods. I've managed to get ATM 4K Pro on day mode. But footage is slightly a little bit grainy while it's struggling to pick up some light. What I'm doing here, just waiting for it to get into a feeding pattern. Next time it goes for a piece of wheat, I'll be on top of it. Oh, a nice clinical dispatch, pellet struck perfectly just above eyebrow. They've gone straight through, straight through cranium, into the brain and travelled out body. You can see from image inside eye that it's, it is a gloomy morning. It's really dark inside that eye. I'm about to brighten that image up with editing software just so you can see what I'm up to. It's same shot in slow motion. Keep an eye out for shot placement. Now why are we controlling grey squirrels? We're controlling them because we're trying to preserve birds that are on an endangered list or red list in UK. Members at Tit family. They're competing with grey squirrels for habitat, food sources. And grey squirrels will even predate on them as well. We're doing a great service to UK Woodland. If you do shoot any squirrels, don't immediately go out and pick them up. It kind of tracked COVID to the area. This is what's happened here. I've heard some magpies clattering away in the background. So I've got myself ready. And I see that telltale flash of black and white. There's a magpie. Slowly makes its way towards a squirrel corpse on the floor. Took that magpie went out a long shot. What you see now is common. It takes them a few seconds to realise they've been hit cleanly and expire, and here it is in slow motion. Please be that shot. Magpies are fidgety, and you have to wait for your opportunity, wait for them to just sit and settle just long enough to release that shot. This is all happening first thing in the morning. So I mentioned that we're here to preserve other wildlife. And in certain parts of the UK where there is red squirrel populations, it's more important to control grey squirrels. Train up these little fellas out. The grey squirrels pass on squirrel pox to red squirrel population. as well as damaging trees in forestry. But your primary aim in certain parts of the country where there is uh, red squirrel populations is to control them to protect the reds. The reds are our native squirrels. We need to do our best to try and look out for them and help the populations expand so they can take hold in different parts of the country and start competing again with grey squirrels. When I'm shooting from an eyed I often spend my mornings with some mice. You can hear them scuttling around that floor. 
I think they like to come inside and an eye provides like a perfect shelter for these through winter months. They're no trouble and I just leave them be. I didn't have much time on this morning to rest on my laurels. Something else has caught me eye. I've got some movement. And like magic, it just appeared on feeder. Again, I'm taking my time, waiting for my moment. And when it sits up, I release my shot. As you can see, that's a lovely clean kill. And that's what it's all about, really. This is what we're trying to achieve every time. I know it's not possible every time. Mistakes do occur. There's a lot of variables when you're shooting with air guns. Here is in slow motion. Again, another shot straight above eyebrow. Squirrels quartering away. So I travel that pellet, I'll go straight through brain and straight down body. If you do shoot feeders regular, you're going to come across jays. Small songbirds, like Robin, they're always a common visitor. And particularly with jays, it's a personal choice for yourself. If populations are large, then they do need thinning out and reducing to a manageable population size. If not, leave them be, let them populate, and they're always a pleasure to see. Had a little bit more time with this next shot. I noticed something screwing across woodland floor, so I got myself ready. And I managed to pick up on this squirrel as it was approaching on woodland floor. So I'm tracking it onto the feeder. And again, it's all about timing and knowing when to release your shot. This squirrel was only a youngster when I did my pick up. Hence the thrashing about. I don't know what it is with old quarry, but the younger generation seems to be pumped up on adrenaline or testosterone. They like to bounce about a little bit, but it did come to rest just there. It were another nice clean kill. You'll see my shot placement, same again. Just aiming just above eye. I've released my shot. It tucked in just under here. Lovely clean dispatch. Now, we do want these squirrels, and they do cause a lot of damage to forestry, trees, native wildlife, and particularly red squirrel. We have to admire them as well. They're a worthy quarry. And while we're out there, it's a pleasure to see other wildlife as well. This little store. As ever, at the end of any session, I check my feed levels. I've always got a bag of wheat or mixed corn with me. This feed had gone down by about five or six inches, so not a massive amount. But I top it up, as I always do, then I know I can forget about it for another three weeks. And here I am, just doing my pick up. As I mentioned in one of the other videos, 
Always give them a quick nudge with my feet first. Make sure they are definitely dispatched and not being knocked unconscious. I'm confident they were out clean, but I always check. Last thing you want is a nasty bite off one of these squirrels. If you prepare squirrels for the table, you'll know that their incisors are quite large and they would give you a nasty bite. Well, we're only a quick session this morning. I was there uh, about two hours, maybe two and a half with pick up and everything. Got loads of things on. It's Christmas uh, next weekend. So I've got to get home, get a few bits done. Good session though. Always pleased to get a magpie. Got a squirrel here, but it's only a young one. Unusual at this time of year. Must be a late summer. Breeding session. I've got two big old brooks at the top. Lovely shot placement on that one. And this one, but same, just tucked it under here. So I'm chuffed really. Four inch bag for a couple of hours. It's time to get home and get out and about and get last bits done. <laughs> 